गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट सो टूडेज क्लास इज अबाउट आउटपुट डिवाइसेज सो लेट मी रिवाइज द प्रीवियस वीडियोज सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई एक्सप्लेन टू यू द कम्प्लीट इनपुट डिवाइसेज वेवर इनपुट डिवाइसेज आर इन योर सिलेबस ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ एंड ऑल्सो हैव गिवन होमवर्क टू यू दैट इज द होमवर्क इज आई हैव गिवन दैट द होमवर्क वॉज to revise the input devices and uh, write the make the notes for, for that input devices so as the same the output devices is here so what are the output devices so we know better that uh, uh, when i want to do, i want, i will use the input devices so the, the responsibility of that input devices is to convert our information in the binary form or digital form or electronic forms so that our computer can process that information on the, uh, can can do uh, processing on that uh, digi digital code after that our result will come out so what are the output devices basically output devices are responsible for uh, for showing uh, so showing our result so we people know that after processing uh, the result goes to the primary memory primary memory you can say that is main memory so main main memory stores the result in the form of binary so it uh, after after uh, uh, after holding the uh, the result uh, by the main memory it transfer to the output devices so output devices are responsible to convert that binary to code to the human readable form that is uh, the result which is understandable by the uh, user or the human so i think the same thing is written over here the output generated by the computer is stored digital in the main memory of the system output devices are used to produce these results in the user readable form i know that mainly the user output is produced in the hand or soft form here. mainly the you can see that mainly the user output is produced in hand or soft form here. various types of devices are used to get the different types of output like monitor speakers printers plotters etc so this thing please uh, go with that point the output generated by the computer is stored digitally in the main memory so of the system output devices are used to produce these results in the user readable form this is the main point of this uh, concept output device so today we will study different types of output devices so what are the first one is ocr optical character reader that are you can say that optical character recognition basically what is this uh when i when we scan the the any any text document any word document <coughs> word document then that, uh, that uh, document will be converted to the image form so this is a device which read the image and convert into uh, convert it into the editable form so this uh, image will be converted by the uh, ed editable form by the optical character reader so we know that uh, this uh, th this device will not give the result 100% so its accuracy is 80% to 90% because might be some uh, some text is just uh, ch change their shapes Uh, so that says will not be understandable by the optical character very effectively so and in that conditions some uh, some uh, error will be there error means some wrong uh, re uh, the this must this device will uh, read that digit wrong, uh, as a wrong uh, wrong uh, wrong things so uh, that's why it is written its accuracy is 80% to 90% so next one is digital and web camera what is this so digital camera is used to capture image digitally so this point is very important you to know you have to uh, just keep in your mind digital camera is used to capture images digitally digitally means in the binary form and to store it into the into the memory that means your uh, your, your data your image can be stored will be stored in the memory uh, of a camera which can be later transferred to the computer with the help of data cable that means your image can be transferred with the help of data cable to the computer unlike the standard camera which uses films to record the high light images uh, light images in light images it 
uh, it has an array of light sensor to capture the images this is the feature of the uh, standard camera but digital camera store our image in the digital form and we can transfer that images by the cable data cable to the computer so the biggest advantage of this device is that it has capacity to capture hundreds of images on a single small memory chip okay so you can store a thousand a hundred of uh, 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 pictures on a small memory chips what are the webcam basically this camera is installed on the desktop so when i think most of the people right now are using the laptop so it is installed uh, this camera is installed already uh, this is in, in build camera but when we were using the desktop uh, computer so we have to at that time we have to install that camera uh, that camera after purchasing the desktop so this that camera is called uh, we're called the web camera so web camera are used for chatting for live uh, video conferencing etc next one is touch screen what are the touch screen basically right now the laptops are uh, uh, coming with the uh, with the sensitive of uh, uh, display with sensitive display when i click uh, on any application when i touch by the finger to any application that app that application will be opened so we can we can use as my uh, as our uh, smartphone so the, as a smartphone i use the uh, move one screen to uh, second screen as or uh, when i click on any application that the same way we can use the touch screen uh, laptops so i think it is written same thing sometimes are provided with the screen that is sensitive to touch when user touches the screen to make a choice the grid determines uh, what is grid basically grid grid is the small small part area so grid determines the location of the touch that means by the grid uh, the computer can understand to wh which part you have touched the data is then passed on the processor that data will be that means key which part you have touched that is informed to the processor so according to that information your processor will do the action so these screens are used so that screen are used uh, of this where this type of screen are used you have seen the air, air, uh, airlines that means airports you have seen it on the railway reservation uh, counters so i think right now uh, if i talk about in my uh, district so if you go to the railway station then there are two or three uh, boxes atm boxes are there on the railway station where you can go and uh, ask for the tickets so that are the uh, display that displays are based on the uh, uh, touch so the one one operator just touch the screens and ask the source and destination place then uh, he ju just touch the uh, display and gives you the ticket so touching the screen makes the choice of source or destination and re relevant information is this will the same thing what i explained to you next one is graphic tablet so what you do with the graphic tablet this is the thing this is very important because right now this type of tablet tablet is mostly used by the youtuber basically this tab is used to uh, explain you the concept explain uh, explain you uh, by by the uh, by the tablet suppose uh, you want to uh, uh, teach the students on youtube so if you purchase this tablet then you can draw the figure any figure and uh, you can you can uh, solve the mathematical problem and uh, when you uh, connect this graphic tablet to the computer then whatever things you will do by this graphic tablet this is shown on the desktops so this uh, at this moment at uh, this graphic tablet are very important so the input devices device find its application in cad computer added designing that is mostly it is used for designing purpose it consists of a grid of copper wires embedded on a flat surface this grid is connected to the processor a pen connected to the processor that means this is connected to the computer a pen like device is called a styles is attached to the grid when the styles moves over the grid the let us uh, discuss function of device one by one 
so this is graphic tablet next one is next topic is so I explain to you graphic tablet and uh, basically I have seen one place uh, that is RTO office so in RTO office uh, the, that employee were using this graphic tablet for signing the uh, the person who who uh, who reaches uh, who reached to uh, reached to there for uh, asking for their uh, driving license so when they fill when they uh, the person fill their forms and submitted over here then at the last time the employee were uh, taking the pictures and they were signing on the graphic tablets so at that place the graphic tablets are also playing an important role i think you got a thing about the graphic tablet next one is monitor or vdu that is visual uh, visual display unit this is also a output device so this is one of the most commonly used output device which is used to display the user's information in soft form it looks like a tv screen on this image are formed with the help of thousands of pictures elements present on the screen part now let me explain what are the pixels basically pixels are the small small dots a small small dots means this is a small points of rgb red green and blue so red green and blue the, the uh, combination of red green and blue is called pixels so these are the small small dots so the, uh, the if the distance with, uh, between uh, two or more dots will be very less then we say that that screen that picture quality is very good so the quality of the output depends on the number of pixels element present per unit area this is written the same thing what i said the the quality of picture is depend that the pixels present per unit area if the pixels are more per unit area then the picture quality will be very good so the two most commonly used monitors are first one is crt monitor and next one is lcd monitor so monitor or vdu monitor or vdu i am discussing you monitor or visual display the, the this this device are used for displaying the content so crt so basically it called cathode ray tube it works just like a tv which is which has a crt made up of glass having electron basically this is having a electron gun uh, having a glass and uh, electron gun fixed at the back okay the gun, the gun fires electrons at group of phosphorus dots when the electron uh, fires on the group of phosphorus dots present on the that is that means that screen is having the phosphorus dot uh, when the uh, when the electrons just fires on that uh, phosphorus then it glows and it shows our display okay this is the phenomenon uh, this is the uh, functionality of crt next one is lcd liquid crystal display this is a new technology which is rapidly replacing the crt monitors this is, that means it is replacing it in this a material called liquid crystal is sandwiched between the two polarized sheets when the electric current passes through the crystal they they block the light to create the pixels in each pixel of the lcd there are a device called tft basically this uh, lcd and crt these are the just the point uh, which you must uh, re uh, revise and uh, learn nothing like the the topics which are which you have to just understand and uh, conceptual basis it, it is just like a learning based based concept everything is learning based concept in this chapter so the last point i want to explain you because this is some uh, understandable point that means uh, you have to uh, pay attention over that uh, next one I can, it, it came so memory man management units what are the memory management units basically data in the computer is stored in the form of binary digits so in which form the data are stored in the form of binary that is zero and once you know better it so these two digits in fact represent, uh, represent the two states 
प्रेजेंट और ऑप्शंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल चार्ज ए बिट ए बिट इज देयर फॉर द स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ डेटा स्टोरेज इन द वी कैन से दैट व्हाट आर बिट्स बिट्स आर द स्मॉलेस्ट स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ डेटा ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फोर सच बिट्स इज कॉल्ड निबल दैट मींस इफ यू कंबाइन दीस फोर बिट्स देन इट इज कॉल्ड निबल एंड द सीक्वेंस ऑफ एट बिट्स कॉल्ड इट बाइट दैट मींस इफ एनीवन विल आस्क यू कि हाउ मेनी बिट्स इन ए बाइट देन यू विल से वन बाइट इक्वल टू एट बिट्स ओके देन वन के बी इक्वल टू वन जीरो टू फोर बाइट्स वन मेगा बाइट इक्वल टू वन जीरो टू फोर के बी वन जी बी मीन्स वन जीरो टू फोर एम बी वन टी बी मीन्स टेरा बाइट वन जीरो टू फोर जी बी वन पी बी पेटा बाइट यू जस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर दिस एग्जाम एंड फॉर योर फ्यूचर वन पी बी मीन्स वन जीरो टू फोर टी बी वन एक्सा बाइट वन जीरो टू फोर पेटा बाइट वन जेटा बाइट वन जीरो टू फोर एक्सा बाइट एंड वन वन योटा बाइट वन जीरो टू फोर जेटा बाइट लास्ट यूनिट इज योटा बाइट योटा बाइट सो यू रिमेम्बर दिस सो आई थिंक टूडेज टूडे इज दिस आफ्टर दिस दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू एंड बट योर होमवर्क विल बी यू जस्ट रिवाइज द आउटपुट डिवाइसेस एंड यू विल ऑल्सो राइट इन योर कॉपीज दैट इज आउटपुट डिवाइसेस एंड this monitor this out this also come in the output device monitor or video so everything you will write and uh, after that this that memory uh, measurement unit you must write and you will just learn it because this is very important for your uh, for your uh, future so thank you for watching this video thank you thank you very much